Hey everyone, Chris here with another video, just as important as the previous one in my opinion, and that is how to unlock the bootloader for your Zook Z2 Plus. So if I, you haven't watched my previous video on how to flash back to a stock ZUI firmware, go ahead and check that out. I'll leave the link down below. But this is going to be important if you're wanting to flash custom ROMs, um, things like that. What you'll need to do is get the ADB and Fastboot installed on your computer. Um, I'll also leave a link, another link to that in the description. But if you've done the previous video, you should already have that installed. And your phone should automatically already have the or USB debugging enabled. We need to actually register for a Zook account. So go ahead and head over to this website. I would recommend you doing this on Chrome because that way it will translate the Chinese into English at least and make it a little easier. Um, create your account, sign up. Um, you should then need to verify the account in your email. Then what we're going to go ahead and do is head over to this website, developer.zook.com slash bootloader. This is where we are going to then um, submit the request to get the unlock image that we're going to need to flash. So we'll go ahead and just carry on or continue probably is what it would be. And so here we are. So we're going to select Z2 and then the serial number. So the serial number, there's going to be one of three variations that you're going to have. One is you're going to have eight digits like you would see here, for example. You may have seven digits if your serial number serial number is seven characters long, you need to add a zero to the end. So if let's say mine was just this, you would just add a zero. Now if yours is six digits, you need to add two zeros at the end. So that's what you would need to do. Okay, mine was eight, so I didn't need to worry about that. Next, you just need to input your email address because then you are going to then receive a um, an email for the file that we have to flash. Go ahead and accept and then submit. Um, I tried doing this first when I did it um, and then it prompted me to sign into my account. I tried creating the account from this site and it didn't work. So you would have to create, like I mentioned, going to the passport.com passport.zook.com site here. Once you've received the email, go ahead and download the file, which is going to look like this, unlock underscore bootloader image. So what we're going to need to do is go ahead and plug your Zook into your computer. Perfect. Let's start our ADB interface. Let's just make sure our computer can communicate with it in ADB. All right, there it is, perfect. So now what we need to do is just boot the device into the bootloader, ADB, reboot, bootloader. All right, so now we are in the bootloader. On yours, it would show device state. It would say locked. So it's gonna be a little different than mine. Now, doing this will wipe your device. So go ahead and back up your device, any data, text messages, things like that on your, on your Zook, back those up, whether it be to your computer, to cloud storage, Google Photos, Google Drive, that sort of thing, do that first. Go ahead and that unlock bootloader image that we downloaded from your email that you received from Zook, go ahead and copy that over to your ADB um, file directory where your ADB interface is installed to. What we need to do is copy this um, fastboot command, fastboot-i ox2 bravo4 charlie flash unlock unlock underscore bootloader dot image. So this here, the dash i, this is basically your device ID from the manufacturer. Um, this was kind of similar to the next bit, Robin, when you had issues unlocking the bootloader or in the bootloader, you had to use this specific um, ID for it to communicate. 
So be sure when we do any sort of fast boot um, commands that we you, you need this ID. So what you'll do is just copy and paste this, press enter, and once that's confirmed and flashes successfully, the next command that you'll need to then enter is again the same initial command OEM unlock dash go and that's going to then unlock your bootloader press enter into your fast boot interface again I've already done this so I don't need to go through all this and what you can go ahead and do is once you've unlocked the bootloader you can just immediately flash TWRP custom recovery if you so choose which is actually officially out from TWRP I'll leave the link down below you can download that copy that into your um, ADB fastboot directory and then what you'll just need to do flash recovery and then whatever your file name is I like to rename them something easy that way it minimizes the chances of misspelling so I just rename my TWRP download instead of it being this whole thing right here 3.0.3-0.z2 I just name it TWRP.image so then you just fast boot that same ID flash recovery TWRP.image press enter that will then flash TWRP recovery onto your device Go ahead then and restart your device into recovery mode by just pressing the volume until you get to recovery and then press the power button. That'll boot you into recovery. And let's go ahead and just do that real quick. Your device will look like this now. It's going to have basically that bootloader's unlocked. That's fine. And there you are. You are now in recovery mode with your custom recovery. And from here, if you want to flash a custom ROM, what you'll need to do then next is go to wipe. And then we need to do format data. So that way this will format your entire device. Um, and then what you'll do is be able to copy your ROM to your device like such. If you do run into issues, maybe try going down to mount and make sure that MTP is enabled. So I really appreciate you guys for watching. Uh, hopefully this is helpful for those that run into any issues during the process. Like I said, I will leave all the links down below. Um, secondly, is if you guys like the video, go ahead and like. Share this content if you so do choose. And subscribe, that way you're notified for future content especially with the Zook. I'm going to be, there's a lot of different content, ROMs that I'll be able to do with this, which I'm excited about. And finally, um, if you are interested in purchasing the Zook Z2, I will leave links down where you can purchase this on GearBest and Banggood. Um, on GearBest, I'll also include a 6% discount code there as well. So thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.